Hey everybody, it's Daniel here. Today we're gonna use Recycler View to create this list of users. So right now it just says Daniel 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it goes all the way up to 100. But this is just a basic list of users. This can be a list of invoices, a list of emails, a list of users, a list of contacts, a list of profile pictures. It could be a list of anything. But for right now, instead of like hard coding all the names, I just put a number there. So it's Daniel number 19. And this goes all the way up to 100 or 90, yeah, 100 there. So this is, a, this is all done in Android Studio, it's a recycler view. Right now you can't really add or remove users, but this is just the basic list. So we have a profile, a first name, and a last name. So let's go ahead and get started creating this in Android Studio. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill that and put it up there. Let's create a new project. We'll call this, let's call this um, uh, user list. I think we'll just call it that. Make sure include Kotlin support is checked, next. That's fine, basic activity, next. Finish is fine. This will open up Android Studio. Wait a couple of seconds and it will finish building. And we can get started here in just a second. So just wait. And it looks like it's done. So great, we can get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut a lot to run it, which is on a, uh, it's, I don't know what it is on Windows, but we can, you can just click that button and I'm gonna use, select this use same selection for future launches. Uh, select my emulator there. You can use a physical device also if you want. But if we open this up in just a second, it should build this and show up here on the screen on our emulator. So there we go, zero errors, and here we are. Okay, cool. So this is the basic, this is the basic, let's go back to it. This is the basic uh, app right there. So I'm gonna change the colors really quick because I, I really like the colors that I use. So again, I'm gonna use this, um, I like that color, I'm gonna put that there. And you can also do the same thing by clicking on these icons. This is not important, I'm just gonna make it like the colors that I like. So there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that, close that. Um, then look at the colors here. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. But as you can tell, in just a second, the colors will be red there. So we have a red status bar there, we have a red, a red toolbar and a black icon, which we don't really need. So let's go ahead and get part, let's get started on the main part of this. So this is a little bit, kind of be a little bit advanced. Um, if you wanna just follow along, that's fine, but let's go to the text view. And so, oh, first let's open up, so app, uh, layout, content main, that's what's opened up here. And right now we have, I have the preview pane open up so I can actually see what's going on here. But you can see I have hello world there. So we wanna get rid of that. So one way to do that would be to go into design mode and just get rid of it that way. But I really like the text editor, I'm just faster at it. You can do the same thing in um, the text design mode if you want, let's do recycler. And then we'll do zero DP, zero DP. And I don't like the formatting of this at all. I think there's a way, yeah, cope styles, and I'm gonna set this Android. I should set that as the default. Okay, so cool. So we have this recycler view there, and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that because we don't need it. And this can be a self-closing HTML tag, or not HTML tag, but XML tag. So we'll give it an idea of uh, recycler view. That's all cool, and then we'll do, uh, I don't like this keyboard, left, left, parent, Right, right, parent, top, top, do top. So there we go, so we have a recycler view there. And what I just did is I created a recycler view, which is probably in here somewhere, I bet. Yeah, so I have a recycler view there. And you can just drag it in if you wanted to, drag the recycler view in. Then make sure that it, the little edges um, go through the full screen. So uh, that's what I just basically did here. I could have done it through the design mode. I just prefer to do it this way. I'm faster at it. And for this, it's not necessarily faster, but you can have more fine-tuned control here and stuff. Okay, so we have the recycler view, so we're done with this. We basically just give it an ID, the width and height are zero DP because this is constraint layout, and then all of our constraints bottom to bottom of, left to left of, right to right of, and top to top of just means, parent just means make it go all the way there. So we, if you click on that, you can see it's a full screen. It goes all the way around the screen. So we're done with that. I'm gonna shift click on the title and get rid of that. This opens up Java and then inside the first folder we have main activity and a lot of this code we don't need so I'm just gonna go ahead and delete. So if you wanna go ahead and delete that code, it's fine. And let's go ahead and get started. So first we need to do is actually create, um, let's see what to do next. Let's create a recycler, let's set up a recycler view. Okay, uh, recycler view and we can get it there. Dot apply I think it is. We can do this. So we'll do um, layout, let's do 
manager equals linear layout manager and then pass it a context and that'll work right there. So we're basically saying, hey, get the recycler view. And again, the recycler views ID, we gave it as recycler view, or if you select it here, you can see it's the ID right there. That's what it is. Uh, shift click that to close it. So we're basically just saying, hey, we're gonna add some stuff to it. So, uh, so we have layout manager there. Then let's do this. Let's do adapter and then we'll call this users ad users adapter and then we'll pass in some users. So right now we're basically saying, hey, get the recycler view, set it up as a list and the adapter, which is gonna like decide how all the content gets rendered on the screen and that kind of stuff, it's gonna be our users adapter. So we need to set up a couple of things. It's giving us some errors here. We don't have users adapters uh, set up yet or users. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's do, Let's do um, val users equals mutable list of, and then we'll do user, and we'll just, uh, it's giving me an error. Let's go ahead and create our model really quick. So I'm gonna do new Kotlin file, we'll do user class, um, we'll go ahead and just get rid of that because we don't want it. So data class user, we'll do a val first name string, and then we'll do val last name, string there we go let's also do email why not val uh, email it's a string so we're kind of setting up hey this is a kotlin data class and we're gonna have getters and setters like get first name all that stuff that we used to do in java we get for free with kotlin here so we have our first name which is a string last name string and email string so we're done with that and that should get rid of the error there um, so we have users oops users there we go so that, that gets rid of that error but this is empty still so let's do this let's do four i in in uh we'll just do zero 100 why not just make it 101 so there we go so let's go ahead and do users dot add and we'll add in a new user so there is our uh that that right there is our model we just created and then it's asking us for uh we'll call it daniel malone uh we'll do dan i'll do daniel j malone at gmail.com so there we are that's my email address probably shouldn't put it out there but oh well so we have that, so users, so all this is working now. So we have a list of users. Uh, we're saying, hey, set up a list of users, do it 100 times and do this 100 times. So we'll have 100 users, 100 users. And this could easily be, you know, 400 or whatever, whatever, whatever you need to do. This is just for testing, so not a big deal. Okay, so first thing we need to do, our next thing we need to do is set up the user's adapter. So I'm gonna click on there and do Alt, Enter, or Option, Enter, or, or Option, Enter on a Mac, Alt, Enter on a PC, I think. And we're going to do this, extract to a new file is fine. And there we go, it's asking us for some basic setup stuff. Let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, oops, there we go. Okay, so we'll fix that in just a second. But first let's go here and I think we actually, yeah, so this is good. So we're setting up our list of users. So we're actually done with main activity. So let's go ahead and close main activity. Okay, now let's do this. Let's do uh, private val users and there we go. So this needs to, we're getting some errors here. This needs to extend the right thing. So let's just do it this way. Let's get rid of that. Let's do, um, we'll do uh, recycler view dot adapter and then we'll pass in, or we'll do view, uh, we'll do users adapter dot view holder. I'll go ahead and format that. I think we can get rid of that enter there, or the space there. Okay, so we have this set up. So we're ha we have a lot of errors here. That is for, what is that for? Uh, yeah, my, okay. So we have this all set up. So let's go ahead and get started. Is that right? Wait, one, two. I think we can get rid of that. That's okay, there we go. Okay, so here we go. So this is better. Okay, so put your mouse over view view uh, view holder. Do option enter, and we can do create new class view holder. And let's go ahead and put it in this file here. And this needs to extend the right thing. So let's do this. Let's do. Um, we'll do item. And then this will extend uh, recycler view dot view holder, and then we're going to pass an item view. Hopefully this makes sense. If not, at least you can follow along or at least get a feel for like how to set up a recycler view. So if you just want to watch this video and let's get more comfortable with recycler views or whatever. Okay, so we have that set up. Now let's go ahead and do uh, 
user adapter over there and we're gonna do option enter implement methods I'm gonna select all of those and then do that and it gives us some not so useful names so we have another number of stuff going on like get item count that is for that's for like how many items are in your so it'd be users dot size so we have a hundred so if you go back to main activity we have a hundred so that would be like how many how many rows does this recycler view have? And that's just passed to the recycler view. Okay, so we have on create view holder. Uh, on create view holder should uh, what do we have here? On create view holder. Okay, so we'll do this parent, and I think this is view type. I think right. Integer. And this one we'll do uh, holder. Uh, then we'll do just giving it some more meaningful names. Did I mess that up? Oh, I did. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now all of our stuff is here, and it's mostly working for the most part. But let's go ahead and do do this. So it's going to say, "Hey, how many how many users are there?" And we'll do users dot size, and that's how many users we have. So let's go ahead and first we need to, uh, let's do this. Let's go inside of on create view holder and let's do this. Let's do, let's do um, val view equals layout inflator dot from. We'll do the parent dot context and then we'll inflate with r dot layout dot row which we'll create in just a second. Pass in our parent and false. So there we go. Now let's return something. Let's return view holder uh, then we'll pass in view. Okay, so for the most part, this is working. Um, so we need to create our view. So every single time there is a user, we're gonna have we're gonna have a, the same layout for each view. Now there are ways where you can have different layouts for different views. Like some, say you want five regular posts, and then you want to insert an ad from AdMob or something. You want to have an ad every like ten positions, every tenth position, or every five positions. So it's like one, two, three, four, five. Add six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ad or commercial or sponsored or whatever. So let's go ahead and create the layout file. So click on layout and we'll do uh, layout file and we'll call this row. We'll do user. No, let's do user row. So let's go ahead and update this to we named it user row and there we go. So this is working. So let's go back to here and let's go to the text mode and let's actually add some text. Let's add some text here. So we'll do text text view. And we'll give this an ID of uh, first name. Very clever, not clever, just boring, but descriptive. And let's do this. Do tools text equals Daniel. So the tools text, that's basically for what's gonna show up in the emul in the what's gonna show up on your Android Studio. So that's not gonna show up ever inside of the, the app. So that's why we use tools there. So go ahead and import that, option enter on that. Format this, there we go. And let's do this, let's do text size, we'll do um, 32 SP, just to make it really big. And the color, we'll do text col color equals 000, zero, make it black. And why not give it some padding? So there we go, we have a little bit of padding. Let's put a space at the bottom like we're supposed to do. So there's Daniel, so we're pretty much done with that, but we'll keep it open. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and in our recycler view, let's get a reference to this first name. So let's do this, let's do, We'll do val first name equals. Let's do uh, text. It's type text view. I think we don't need that. But we'll do we'll do equals item view dot first name. I think, yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So now we can access this first name inside of onbind view holder. So let's do this. Let's do let's do holder dot first name dot text equals then users. And then we'll pass in the position. And then we'll get the first name. Okay, so we did a lot of code. This is probably, something's probably gonna mess up. Don't know what, but let's go ahead and run it. So I think this might actually work. I'm gonna run it with the button right there or do the keyboard shortcut, the, the green play button right there. And let's see if this crashes. No, it doesn't, but look. See how it's all spaced out? That's because in our row layout, it's taking up the full height. So like one Daniel per screen, but we don't want that. Let's go back to here and we'll do this to wrap content. I'm gonna go ahead and run it, or the keyboard shortcut. And let's see what's going on here. So yeah, we have lots of Daniels now. So this should be, 
a hundred Daniels. And yeah, I can't go anymore. So that's a, probably about a hundred there. It should be exact uh, or a hundred and one or something because we started at zero and went to a hundred. Anyway, okay, so this is all working. So what else can we do? Um, so I want to work on the layout a little bit. So let's go ahead and do this. So we have constraint layout there. Let's do this. So the first element inside of there, let's do image view. Um, and we'll give it an ID of um, photo. Um, we'll go ahead and do left, left, parent. I will do, uh, that's good for now. So we have an image view there. And let's go ahead and do something. Let's just go ahead and just create a random icon. Or not create a random icon, but use a... A vector asset so we'll do new vector asset and then we'll search for and there are all kinds of stuff you can add there are all kinds of icons let's just do let's just do that for now because why not next finish so we have that in our drawables now so we have is that what it's called yeah so it's called bean here right whatever that was don't know what okay so let's go to our image view and then we'll do source and then we'll do the in here so notice how it's kind of like up there in the top left let's fix that so we have left to left of but we don't have top to top of or bottom to bottom of so let's do top top and do parent and then we'll do bottom bottom and that'll center in the middle so look at our look at our row there it goes from right there to right there that icon the icon we just made this image you right here is right in the center of that so let's go ahead and so Daniel is kind of messing that up. So let's do this. Do left to right of and we'll do what should we do? We have to write a photo. That should put it there. Now let's add some padding to our image view. So padding we'll do uh, uh, 16 dp and there we are. So we have a, that can be a like profile icon. You can replace it with somebody's user. Uh, so we have first name here. Let's do this. Let's do top top parent. Uh, then let's do bottom, bottom, uh, oh, not that yet actually. Let's do this. Let's do, so it's, let's do uh, text view. We'll do wrap, wrap. And uh, then we'll do ID equals last name, because it's last name. We'll do tools, text equals, oh, then we'll do Malone. There we go. So that's showing up there. And let's also do, let's do the same thing. Let's do, uh, let's do color sh should be uh, Z00. Zero zero, so we'll make the color black. And the font size will make uh, the font size will make. Let's make it 16 SP. Just a little. Uh, let's do 20 SP. Just a little bit bigger. So we're kind of going to highlight the first name. Okay. So the same thing. We need to put this to the right of the icon. So let's do left to right of, and then we'll do first name. Uh, no, not first name. Photo. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do this. Let's do uh, let's do bottom to bottom of parent. So this is why is that? Oh, we give it padding. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So this is sort of working, but if you notice, the Daniel and the Malone are kind of messed up. So say, just to give you an example, let's do this. Let's do two hundred DP. No, not that. The height of 200 dp. See how the Daniel and Malone is like all messed up basically? So what I want to do is I want to chain those. So let's go back to here. Let's do first name and last name. And let's do chain and we'll do vertical chain. Now there are a couple of modes for this. See right now how it's kind of even. So Daniel and Malone's kind of even. We can like do it on the outside, so top and bottom. Or what we want to do is we can just do it right in the middle. So that way, however big our profile icon is, or however big our email address and other stuff, other kind of data is, we will still have it exactly in the middle. That's kind of a pre precise way to do it. So I'm going to go back to text mode, and I'm going to go ahead and do wrap content. And that should still... Yeah, that's that's as bad. That's, that's let's let's do this. Let's do let's actually do. Let's. I'm trying to think here. Why isn't that working? Oh yeah. So forget that. Wait. So we have photo. We have left to left of. Oh, it's the padding. Okay, so let's do this. 
So now we have an now we have a nice big icon there. So that'll be the profile picture. And again, Daniel and Malone, that's all in the center there. Let's go ahead and just, I'm gonna save it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna run it by clicking that button there, the green button. I use the keyboard shortcuts a lot, so that's what I generally prefer. Here we go, Dan Daniel is everywhere. So we don't have Malone, but that's because we're only using the tools here. So tools text means it's only gonna show up inside Android Studio. If we go back to users adapter, we can see we haven't even set up our last name. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate that and we'll call this one last name and we'll do this last name. So there we have access to it. Capitalization is important. Okay, let's do this. Let's do, I don't like that. Let's do holder.lastname.text equals, and then we'll do user.firstName. So what I don't like is we have to have users and positions everywhere. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, oops, uh, then user.firstName. So we don't have that user variable, so let's just create it one time. So we'll do a val a user equals users position and that should work so what we're saying is hey so we we get the position so zero one two three four five all the way up to 100 and we're saying hey get so the user we're creating a new variable and the new variable user is users which we pass in up there dot position so we're getting this our position here so then we're using position user dot first name and user dot last name so let's go ahead and run that go back to the emulator and we sh oops, La uh, last, last name, there we go. Say it, run that, and this should work. So it said Daniel because I accidentally put in the, yeah, so there we go. So here's a nice contacts. This could be used for a list of contacts. You can replace the photo with the photo of a user. You can do all kinds of stuff. You can make it colorful. You can do, you can do whatever you wanna do with this. Um, Daniel Malone, obviously you'd have different names if it, this were different people, but for now this works. Um, Daniel Malone here, Daniel Malone, we have an icon. That's pretty much it. This is, I know this went kind of fast and this might be kind of confusing, but I'll try to post this code to GitHub. So look in the YouTube description. I'll post this code on GitHub so you can access it and look at it and run it yourself. Um, but in the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe to keep up to date. I try to post videos every couple of weeks or so. I have a number of videos on my cha YouTube channel, but you can also check out one of my blogs called androideveryday.com. Again, it's just androideveryday.com. Um, I have a number of websites and blogs like stuff like that that I'll put in the description that you can read up on. Anyway, hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.